just said two words that made everyone in the White House extremely nervous by Frank Lee for DailyVine.com. President Donald Trump has been draining the swamp since his stunning victory against Hillary Clinton in, 26, in the 2016 presidential election. His recent firings have everyone on edge and wondering if they'll be the next person drained from the swamp of the White House or Pentagon. President Trump casually makes waves in the political field and his first year serving as the leader of the country has uh, brought many winning situations for, a various, for various sectors in American government and society. Uh, Trump, uh, a president who seems to speak off the cuff, straightforward, and has at times said things that may uh, have received a bit more controversial news coverage than the average president, is not known to shy away from a casual joke here and there. However, what Trump just said, considering the situation with uh, recent firings, has people wondering if he's kidding or he's serious. Trump said two words that caught everyone off guard and raised eyebrows around the world after he simply said, who's next, in regards to who gets fired from their position. Some caught the sarcasm, but others may have felt like they should start packing their things if they've got some skeletons in the closet that could come out with investigations involving Robert Mueller who recently subpoenaed the Trump Organization seeking evidence and documents about Russia, if any exist. Give it a rest, Mueller. President Trump's uh, who's next quote was all over several television headlines, some laughing and some got scared. The Daily Mail reported more about Trump's amusing quote. Reports of uh, t uh, tumult in the, uh, in the administration were at a feverish pitch. Even on his beloved Fox News, as the president reflected on the latest staff departures during an Oval Office conversation with Vice President Mike Pence and Chief of Staff John Kelly. Uh, with a laugh, Trump said, who's next? It's the very question that has the whole White House on edge. In recent weeks, the president's top economic advisor has resigned over a policy dispute. The Secretary of State he long clashed with was fired, and a slew of top aides headed for the exits. An increasingly confident Trump is privately weighing still more changes, expressing frustration with certain advisors and sifting through possible replacements. Many close to Trump think more upheaval is coming soon. The president is moving towards replacing National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, but has not settled on exact timing or a successor, said four people with knowledge of White House deliberations. Kelly has also uh, warned on the president, confidants of the president said, and Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin, under fire for ethics violations, appears to be grasping to keep his job. So intense was the swirl of speculation about McMaster that the uh, White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders tried to tamp things down late Thursday by tweeting, just spoke to POTUS and uh, General H.R. McMaster. Contrary to reports, they have a good working relationship and there are no changes at the NSC. Uh, this account of the tension in this account of the tension in the White House is based on conversations with 10 officials inside the White House and familiar with West Wing deliberations, all of whom spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss internal matters. After more than 14 months in office, Trump is reshape, reshaping his administration, seeking people more likely to fall in line with his policies and tolerate his moods. The fractionalism that defined the early days of his tenure has faded, and he has lost some of the close aides who co uh, could manage his uh, volatile impulses. Business Insider provided the following graphic that details a list of people who resigned or were fired once Donald Trump became president. Casualties of the Trump administration, and it goes on and on here. Yeah, and Rick Tillerson was the last one to go. 
Rex Tillerson, the latest departure from the Secretary of State position, was replaced with Mike Pompeo, who was the CIA director. Uh, Business Insider reported that Gary Kahn, uh, Trump's economic advisor, had resigned. Hope Hicks was another unexpected name to drop from the list of people in Trump's administration. These resignations and firings rock the uh, country, but perhaps nothing as big as uh, Sean Spicer, James Comey, Steve Bannon, and Anthony the Mooch Scaramucci. President Donald Trump is living up to his slogan and draining the swamp as he builds his administration the way he has planned. Some of the resignations are unexpected, but many may have been foreshadowed in either the inability to believe in and remain loyal to the President of the United States, or others may have been involved in possibly scandalous behavior that could lead them to the courtroom where they might face charges for anything that's revealed, if anything is ever uncovered. Many Americans were excited when Trump released his drain the swamp theory about eradicating the evil from politics and shaking things up. Democrats have chastised the president for his actions, even protesting as part of the hashtag resist movement uh, gathers attention in the media. Many members of the infamous quote Antifa crowd wanted a president who would shake things up and they didn't realize that the best person was Donald Trump. That allows us to ask a serious question. Who really is next? That's a very good question. Yeah, let's see what happens even uh, with McCabe. McCabe should have been fired, um, but uh, he's begging them not not to fire him for the, to collect his, uh, you know, pension there. Uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.